let's start with question number 8 so here we are with question as v square plus 4 under root 3 v minus 50 so here we are given with f v equals 0 now we need to equate it equal to 0 so v square plus 4 under root 3 v minus 15 equals 0 now we need to split the middle term so c is 15 and we have a as 1. So, taking factors of 50, we can write it in the form of 5 and 3. Now, you can see that we have under root 3 here. So, if we have under root 3, that means we need to grow 3. So, it can be written as under root 3. So, we will make the factors of it. So, we have 5 under root 3 minus under root 3. Now, 5 under root 3 minus under root 3 makes 4 under root 3. So now these are my factors. This is how I need to split the middle term here. So it can be written as v square plus 5 under root 3 v minus under root 3 v minus 15 equals 0. Now what we can take common from the first two terms is v. So v plus 5 under root 3 minus under root 3 v 15 15 here can be written as 5 into 3 into 3 now what we can take common from this is we can take under root 3 so 5 under root 3 equals 0 so it is plus here sorry so we have two zeros here that is v plus 5 under root 3 equals 0 and another is v minus under root 3 equals 0 0. So we get the first one as minus 5 under root 3 and another as under root 3. So we have the value for alpha, we have the value for beta in this case. So the first one alpha and the second is beta. So sum of zeros alpha plus beta minus 5 under root 3 plus under root 3. So it makes minus 4 under root 3. Now we need to verify with respect to minus b over a. So minus b according to equation is 4 under root 3 and a is 1. So minus 4 under root 3 over 1. So you can see that they are same. So left hand side equals right hand side. Now the next is alpha dot beta that is minus 5 under root 3 dot under root 3 equals we get minus 5 under root 3 under root 3 is 3 so it will be minus 15 and we know to verify product of 0 we have c over a so c in this case you can see is minus 15 last term and a is 1 so minus 15 plus 1 we get minus 15 and you can see that left hand side equals right hand side so hence verified so that's how we need to solve question number 8 and that's your answer for question number 8 thank you for watching this video